People all across Michigan are waking up to a stay at home order that went into effect at midnight. Governor Gretchen Whitmer signed that executive order yesterday in an effort to slow the spread of the novel coronavirus. Today, many people are still wondering what that means for them. 13 Inside's Angela Cunningham is live this morning with a look at what you can and cannot do. Good morning, Angela. Good morning, James. As predicted, this has caused ripple effects across Michigan. For example, the Secretary of State has closed all branches for the next few weeks, as the governor tells us to only leave our homes under very limited circumstances. An exception is given to businesses that are essential to the state's infrastructure and those workers needed to perform the tasks. That includes things like health care, public safety, first responders, transportation, and even child care. Now, you will be able to do things like go to the grocery stores or restaurants for takeout, attend legal proceedings, and go to work if you are employed by one of those essential businesses. The governor, however, has warned employers to, quote, not play fast and loose with what it means to be essential or to try and skirt the rules. She warns that one million Michiganders could need hospital beds if we do not stop the spread of this pathogen. Without aggressive additional measures, more people will get sick, more people will die, and our economy will suffer longer. Without additional aggressive measures, soon our hospitals will be overwhelmed. And we don't all, we currently don't even have enough beds, masks, gowns, and ventilators. Now this morning, there are more than 1,300 confirmed cases of COVID-19 in Michigan. And that includes 15 deaths. As of now, the stay-at-home executive order is in effect for the next three weeks, that is until April 13th. Now under the order, we are allowed to engage in outdoor activity. However, the governor warns us to continue to use that six feet distance from other people. Also, you can find more information on what this means for you, what you're allowed to do and what you're not on our website, 13onyourside.com. Coming up in the next hour, we will have more on what the Secretary of State closing means for you. For now, back to you. Thank you, Angela.